Hi, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com here with a One Take Wonder video for you. Today we're going to feature the Twisty Treats bags that's available as one of the free exclusive items during Celebration. Celebration does end March 31st, 2014, so you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you get your orders in if you want to select this as one of your exclusive items. But let me show you a really fun bag that you can make with it. The Twisty Treat kits come with the polka dot bags, come with an assortment of tags and it does come with a wire twisty which is where the name twisty treats come from but we're just going to be working with the bag itself the bag is gusseted so we have a three and a half inch by 12 inch piece of melon mambo cardstock and let's set the little bags aside we're going to want our scoring tool we'll lay this in at six inches because we want to score it in half first and we'll just get a good fold on that. And then we want to take that crease that we just made and put it on the one inch mark. And we're going to want to score. I always go over it a few times because I want a nice crease on it. And then we're going to flip it around and we're going to put our center mark back on the one inch again. And we're going to crease. And so what ends up happening is you have your center mark here. So that's the six inch in half. And then on either side of the six inch you've got it scored at one inch so you've got three marks and that will give you a valley fold okay so let's set that off to the side and let's grab our little bag now we'll go ahead and open it up and now we can take this and we can slide it down inside and push it open and you're going to see that you have this little flap here. So what you want to do is we want to put adhesive on that tiny little, it's like about a quarter inch flap that's on that bag. It's a seam there. So we'll push this open again. Just kind of push it down in there. So what we're trying to do is create a nice flat bottom, and it does fit and it does work. And we're going to just secure this. Now that I've got adhesive on it, so now there's nothing popping up. It's nice and clean for you, so you can see that. And now you've got a cute little bag that's going to stand when it's full of treats. So let's set that aside. We want to add some embellishments to it. First, we have Celebrate Baby stamped in Melon Mambo. We'll put a little adhesive on that, a daffodil scallop circle. And now we can set those aside. We have our spiral die cut from Silver Foil. And what we're going to do is, starting on the outer edge, we're actually going to cut, did I do this right now, on the inside edge, excuse me, and we're going to cut all the way around to the inside, excuse me, sorry about that. Start on the inside first, at least that's what works for me, is to start on the inside first. And we're going to come up here as far as where this little point is, we're not cutting it off, we want to keep these hanging on there. And then we want to go ahead and do another one. And what we're doing, there we go, is cutting just under the scallops. So we'll have three strips. And this one has the scallops and two of these. You could actually have cut this a little more narrow and then this one if you wanted to you could have cut the scallops off that's how I did the one that I have finished you're going to take each one of the three pieces that you have individually and you're going to take a dowel the diameter of the dowel is going to determine how tight your spiral is how tightly it's wrapped so if you're using a narrow paintbrush or something else that's like a real thin file or something you're going to get a real tight twist and just kind of try to hold on to this the end here. You can even just over, overlap it if you want, but just try and hold on to it. And really what you're trying to do is just get a nice tight twist and you're going to twist all the way up. Keep holding on. You're going to twist all the way up to the end. So you would just twist the whole way up and then you're able to pull down your curly cue. And if you need to redo the end, just go ahead and go back and redo the end a little bit. But you're just creating these cute little curly cues and you would do that on all three of them so that you end up with a little piece like this and you've seen pieces like this for sale at the um, gift wrapping section or whatever but we've just created our own. 
on the back of our yellow flower. We want a whole bunch of adhesive, and that little tab is what's going to go on there perfectly. Now let's go back to our bag. We're going to go ahead and fold, fold it in. And what I love is that you end up with a couple of inches on top of where the bag ends, or the Melon Mambo ends on the inside. So you're able to fold it towards you about a half an inch. You're going to fold it back the same amount, and then you're going to fold it forward. There's enough that you can get three folds, and it actually ends up forming a little bit of a fan, and you get this little extra on either side. You put your little piece here in the middle, take our handheld punch, give it a good squeeze, and what I'm working with for Brad's, this is the candy dot base, and I'm just going to leave it plain silver because I want the silver to match the silver that I have going on here. And then we'll just fluff up our little sides just a little bit. So just a fun little way to dress up these candy, um, these little polka dotted twisty treat bags with your spiral die, simple little greeting, and now you've got a whole bunch of cute little favors for a baby shower, birthday party, or something else fun that you're getting ready to celebrate. So have fun embellishing and decorating your twisty treat bags. Take care and God bless.